weeks out. I'm on low food. My check-ins um, frequency is bumped up to every three days. A lot of that is because we're being aggressive in like putting me into like some depletion and then we'll check in, see what we're looking like, fill us up and then push back into a depletion. Last night I did not sleep at all. <laughs> I woke up at like 1.30 and I've been up since then. I did fall back asleep at one point and I had a dream that I started cheating on my diet and I was just like shoving ice cream sandwiches down my face. <laughs> and I thought it was real where I woke up and I was like, oh my God, how am I going to tell Alex that I just cheated on my diet? I, I am feeling like a little food focused, if I'm being honest. And I'm really grateful that like my coach has been so adamant about me getting my blood work done throughout this whole prep. Um, I didn't do it very much last year, even though he was telling me to do it. <laughs> I only did it a few times. This time I'm doing it way more frequent. And so it's really normal when you're in your uh, diet phase that your thyroid can like slow down. Um, that's just like what can happen. And so for me, it's it feels good to see that on paper to know that okay when you're done with your show my body physically like physiologically is not going to be able to handle a lot of extra food and so it just puts a lot more importance on following my reverse correctly i'm already making plans for my reverse because after my show i'm staying in vegas to watch Olympia and so I am making sure like I'm gonna be bringing additional food um, I'm looking into like meal prep services and things like that I'm also reaching out to like videographers and photographers for that time frame as well to set up some photo shoots or film content to help myself stay accountable as well because if I know I'm gonna be like taking pictures shooting videos like I don't want to be bloated and I wish I could tell you like I am mentally strong enough that uh, and disciplined enough that I know I'm gonna do this reverse perfectly after I don't know that I'm still growing in this sport and as much as I've learned my lessons I still have to exercise the skills that I have learned this year and I don't want to set myself up by fa for failure, so I'm just going to put all the things in place to help myself along the way. But today's my active rest day, and I don't have any meetings, and so last week I did this. I went to a coffee shop to just like get myself out of the house and get work done, so I'm going to do that again today, and I'm actually going to try to bring my dog with me and make it like a training session on top of that for both of us. Um, so that'll keep me occupied with all the other work I have to do on my projects. <laughs> so I'll see you throughout the day. Before things didn't go right, now I pay the price It's keeping me up at night I still see you Like a ghost in my room Now I know the truth That it'll always be you Vlogging has been difficult, guys, but I'm really trying to do my best. It's hard. I want you to, like, imagine, imagine that you have the flu, and then someone says, also, you should record yourself and how you feel and what you're thinking while you have the flu. And so, like, when I'm in these deep deficits um, during these, like, push phases it takes everything out of me 
And I still have like my day-to-day responsibilities that always are going to take priority, like my clients, my full-time job, uh, taking care of my dog, eating all my meals, doing all my prep stuff. So picking up and vlogging and like thinking through how to talk to you guys is so hard. We are on day five of trace carbs only. (laughs) I'm used to it, uh, but my cardio also increased a lot at the same time. And so after like a string of days of that, my body just starts to feel so like weak. I feel like competitors will understand this, but it's like just kind of existing hurts. (laughs) Like walking through the kitchen hurts. I have dropped about three pounds. This morning posing, I was with my friend Lana Dunbar. She has her own posing company. Polished presentations, I'll link it on the video. Um, she also just won like best presentation award at the um, Nashville Fit. So if you guys need a posing coach, she is so great. I love sending her like my suits, my whole posing, my look. She just has a really good eye for like what looks good on people. She just has a good eye for it. So we posed together and she loves my routine. She gave me some good like feedback and things to think about um, throughout the routine. So I'm going to go inside, eat. I need to find the charger for this vlog camera. Relax, take care of my dog, work, you know, the whole thing. Sweet is my mom. I had such a hard day yesterday and she got me flowers. (laughs) <laughs> I'm so grateful for my support system. You have no idea. Okay, vlogging this week has been like non-existent. I've been just fighting for my life, basically. I've been ordering a bunch of stuff for traveling from like my show weekend and everything. And it all came except for like one thing. <laughs> Box number three. <sighs> Tuesday, so this is officially, I'm officially two weeks out. So I'm gonna wrap the vlog up. I know it was like the shortest vlog ever. I just posted some of three weeks out um, with my summer shredding video with my clients. Like you didn't miss much this week, um, except for just me just trying to keep it all together. <laughs> we might have had a couple of crying sessions, but that's neither here nor there. But I do wanna do like an in depth breakdown of like what I'm packing to bring with me to my show weekend. Show you kind of like what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. And next video will be like a more like in-depth packing list for show day. Anybody that ever watches these, I hope you find some type of value. (laughs) Prep is not for the faint of heart. Anybody that's doing something that is like challenging themselves or pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, like hats off to you. It's not easy to give you're 1000% to something, especially not knowing like how it's gonna really pan out. So if you're out there grinding, just know I'm with you. I hope you know that you are so powerful, you're so capable, and if no one's told you today, I believe in you, I love you, we got this. (laughs) 